in this After Effects video, we're gonna learn four motion graphic techniques. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So title says it all. We're gonna learn four motion graphic techniques that you can use in any After Effects project when working with motion graphics. These are four types of motion graphics that I like to use in pretty much every project. And the first motion graphic technique that I would like to start off with is animated lines. These can be used as nice animated design elements to showcase what's important in your composition. All right, the line technique is very simple, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab the pen tool here at the top, and you wanna click on the word fill and set it to none and click okay, and click on the word stroke and you'll set it to solid color and click okay. And you can change your stroke width, but we can get back to that in a second. So you click a point, you can hold down shift on your keyboard and just draw a curved line like this and you can continue to expand on this just like that. So now we have this line in here, no big deal. So now what we wanna do is animate this line so we can open up our shape layer. We'll go to add and we're gonna add a trim paths. And we'll move back to our beginning of our timeline and we'll open up trim paths one and we'll set the end percentage to 0%. We can add a keyframe for end. We can move forward in time, maybe we'll do like two seconds and we'll set it up to 100%. Now we go back, you know, maybe to frame 10 or so, and we'll add a keyframe for start. And we'll move past the last end keyframe by like 10 seconds or so, and we'll set it down to 0%. So now you'll have this nice animated line, just like this, right inside of your composition. And what we can do is make all the keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. We can open up shape one, we'll go to the stroke one, where it says line cap, it's set to butt cap, we'll set it to round cap. It's a lot of caps right there. And let's just round out the edges. So now you have this one line that's animated just like this. And if say we wanna add a bunch of other ones in here really quick, what we can do, what we can do is duplicate this. So what we'll do is we'll open up our line two here. We can delete the shape one and we can grab the pen tool again and we can just draw some minor lines. And we can just draw some you know minor lines in here, click off of it, select line two again and this is just a really quick way to just add some extra short lines. And they're gonna have the same animation speed as the main line. So what we can do is just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and we can bring in the last two keyframes. So these smaller lines are much quicker than obviously the much bigger line, right? So if you wanna continue to expand on this, you can duplicate these, you know, delete all the current lines in here. So just hit U, U and bring up each of the shape lines. You can delete them and you can just you know start over. So here's our lines that we quickly created and it adds a lot more detail to our composition. The next technique I like to use often is the explosion. I've used this a lot in my last few tutorials, but the explosion is simply just a accent motion graphic that shows up on your screen just for a couple of seconds. It explodes on and then it evaporates. All right, so next we're gonna create the animated explosions and this is very easy to do. So what we'll do is come here to our tools here at the top and we're gonna grab the ellipse tool. Now, just like before, we're gonna turn off the fill and keep the stroke turned on. And from here, we'll just draw out a perfect circle. You can hold down shift on your keyboard to make sure that everything's a circle. And boom, there's our circle. So what we'll do here is go into the ellipse one and we'll move to a certain point in time. So maybe we'll just move past like just a second here. We'll open up stroke one and we'll add a keyframe for stroke width. And we'll move forward just by a few frames here and we'll set the stroke width down to zero. So that's just gonna disappear like that. And then what we'll do here is we'll go to our transform ellipse one We'll add a keyframe for scale and we can move this keyframe to the last stroke width keyframe and then set the scale down to 0%. And this will create just a very slow explosion. And of course, we can just select all our keyframes here at the end and just bring them in to speed it up. And of course, you know, make them easy, easy keyframes. So boom, there is one exploding circle like that. And obviously from here, we want to just, you know, add a bunch of these. So what I suggest doing, trim out the out point here. And now you know this is the entire length of the circle. And what we'll do is we'll duplicate it and we can just move it around our composition just like this. And we can add a variety of these very quick and to duplicate, go to edit, duplicate. And now we have our exploding circles covered around our composition and just adds a lot of animated detail to our composition. It looks really nice. So this concludes our second technique. And before we continue this video, if you're looking to produce high quality motion graphics within a matter of minutes, go ahead and check our links in the video description. The preview you're seeing right now is a 750 motion graphic element pack from Video Hive, which allows you to drag and drop pre-made motion graphic elements into any After Effects project file. 
We did a full review on this motion graphics pack, so if you're interested, go ahead and check our links in the video description. One of my favorite motion graphic techniques is a repeated circle. What I mean by that is take like a series of lines and you animate it around a circle and you can use it as one motion graphic element. It's really nice for say also explosions, but also just for some nice accent around the entire composition. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So as our first technique, we're gonna grab the pen tool and we're gonna draw this from the center of our composition. So we can zoom in here and just click a point, hold down shift on our keyboard and draw a straight line up like that. So that looks good. So now what we're gonna do is open up our shape layer one and we're gonna go to add and we're gonna add a repeater. And we're gonna open up repeater one and we can increase the number of copies. That's totally fine. We can open up transform repeater one and from here we're gonna set the position down to zero, the X position. Then we're going to increase the rotation by like 20 degrees and then we're going to the anchor point and we're gonna grab the y value and we're going to increase this value so now now we have a circular shape path just like this so now we have these lines in here and we can go up to layer and go to transform and click on center anchor point and layer content and that puts the anchor point right in the middle and then we can bring this right up into like the middle of our composition and we can S on our keyboard for scale and we can scale this up and we can do whatever we want with this we get R on our keyboard for rotation we can move forward here, rotate this. Uh, then we can also maybe do the, we can go back and do the trim paths if we want to do the explosion technique again. And, you know, set this down to 0%, add a keyframe for it, move forward to 100%. We'll do the start percentage as well. Make them easy, ease keyframes, of course. And now you have a repeated animated path with your own custom object. You don't have to use lines for this, of course. Uh, you can use any other shape, but this is a nice way to just put everything in a nice circle and just another cool motion graphic technique. And lastly, one of the best motion graphic techniques to show that you did more work than you actually did is to quickly duplicate elements and to resize them and to variate the transform properties to fill up your composition and make it look like you did a lot of work. Let's take a look. So perhaps we'll grab the ellipse tool here and you know, I like working with circles. So we'll open this up, you know, hold down shift on keyboard and we can just go to the line tab and center this up. If you don't see the line tab, go up to window, align. I'm gonna keep this in the center of our title. I like that. And we can increase the stroke width if we want, you know, probably keep it around 30 or so. And we'll come in here, we'll go to add and we'll add the trim paths again. And we're gonna build out a nice motion graphic object here. So trim paths is one of my favorite effects here. So we'll add a keyframe for start. We'll set it down to 100% and we'll come here to like two seconds and then we'll set the start percentage down to 0% and we'll do the same thing with the end percentage here. Add a keyframe there, go past the last keyframe and set it down to 0%. So now we just have this here like that. And then we can grab our keyframes, easy, easy keyframes. So now we just have something like this and it looks fine. And then what we'll do here is we'll grab the pan behind tool and we'll move our anchor point to the center of our composition. So we'll come here, just make sure this is directly in the center. And we can come here, duplicate our shape layer one, hit R on keyboard for rotation. We can rotate this uh, just like this. So now these will be ex exactly apart from each other, just like so. And then we can duplicate this again. We can hit R on our keyboard here. We can hit S on our keyboard as well, scale it down. We can even grab the selection tool here at the top and just lower the stroke width here. Uh, we can even hit U on our keyboard for bring up the keyframes. And we can bring in the last two keyframes to speed this up if we want to. And this is just a cool way to quickly variate the same objects and just to really build out an entire scene very quick, duplicate it, you know, scale it out. Maybe we'll even make the stroke width even smaller. In a very quick fashion, we were able to build out this entire motion graphic element just by duplicating the shapes here and using the basic transform tools. And of course, when it's all said and done, here is our entire motion graphic elements combined together and it really spice up this basic title animation and adds a lot of detail to our you know overall composition then of course you can go in here and change the colors individually we didn't do that just because it's just a basic demo and it looks like we just put a lot of work into what would be a very basic title animation there are my four motion graphic techniques that we'll be talking about in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and are able to apply these to your own motion graphic projects in the future. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel. So hit that subscribe button. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.